Coronavirus pandemic has delayed the opening of local zoos that rely on ticket sales to keep going. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how Binder Park Zoo is getting through these tough times. Last year at this time, there would be people lined up here at the zoo. Binder Park says it's doing everything it can to get through this tough time. If it wasn't for the sounds of the animals, Binder Park Zoo near Battle Creek would be a pretty quiet place. Every day that our gate is not open, um, you know, that's revenue that's lost. Leslie Walsh, the manager of marketing and development at Binder Park Zoo, says the staff is waiting to reopen when it's safe and when state regulations allow. We've already lost a lot, and I think that our community, including families and other businesses and organizations, are all going to need time to recover, including us. Unlike most other zoos, Binder Park does not receive funding from local tax dollars, making ticket sales even more crucial. Our gate sales, our in-park sales, uh, our education programs, donations, our special events, those all go into the mix that funds our zoo. Even though the public can't visit, the work never stops when looking after animals. They need to be cared for, they need to be fed, uh, their area is kept clean. To keep a virtual eye on the zoo, Binder Park is now streaming on its website. Since the pandemic began, many people have reached out to show their support. We've had a lot of people reach out to us and ask how they can help, what they can do to help support us. The park is also extending the duration of its membership to last a year from whenever the park reopens. We need to be open. We want guests in the park uh, to enjoy this space. The zoo is preparing for the reopening, working out the plan to protect the animals, staff and visitors. We will have signage. We will have hand sanitizing stations. We will have zoo staff um, with masks and gloves. If you want to learn how you can support the zoo we've included a link on woodtv.com reporting from binder park zoo kyle mitchell news 8